Arabian nights like Arabian days. Hey, Sammy. <laughs> What's going on here? Hey, Susie. Do you remember when Elsa visited her friend, Princess Jasmine? Uh-huh, I remember that. <laughs> Well, Jasmine decided to pay a return visit. I got it. So now you're rearranging our house like an Arabian palace for our guests' visit. Exactly. We need to get rid of all the furniture. Like, throw some pillows on the floor. A lot of them. Hold on, Sammy. I guess she's coming to see how we live. And if Jasmine gets homesick, she'll have a whole room. Follow me. Hi, guys. It's been a while since we've made a craft devoted to a Disney princess. Today we'll work with foam board and foam paper a lot to build a cute little room in the Arabian night style. For Princess Jasmine. Oh, hi. Take the shoe. Thanks. This is going to be one terrific room in an Arabian style. Let's make an opening right here, closer to the upper edge. Like this. By the way, guys, you'd better ask an adult to help you with the cutter. Mm. Yeah, guys, remember to be very careful with the cutter. And other sharp objects that you'll be using during this craft. And that's it. Now we need to decorate this long window with this golden colored paper. So, these edges aren't princessy enough. Take these. Hmm, interesting. These do look very beautiful. Let's place one of the strips right here. Perfect. Told ya, it's gonna be fabulous. Then we'll make all the pieces of our craft this way today. Cool, right? I absolutely love it. Shoo, I found this piece over there. Oh, this is gonna be another wall for our room. You see, it has two sweeping windows. Let's upgrade them. Whoa, check this out, guys. It's shining so beautifully. Susie? Why haven't we made any crafts based on Aladdin's adventures yet? Honestly, I don't know, Sammy. I always liked his story. How he's a courageous guy with a huge and kind heart. And when the movie came out in 2019, I was completely amazed by it. All those beautiful colors and animation. Oh, and the songs, of course. <laughs> I wish I found a lamp with a genie in it. Oh, really? And what would you ask him for? An endless stash of candies, of course. And what about you, Susie? Oh, if I met a genie here right now, I'd ask him for more pieces for the second floor of this palace room. Let me make that dream of yours come true! I can help! Alakazam, do! <coughs> wow, Sammy! That was awesome! Am I right, guys? Then give us a thumbs up! Now let's apply some glue. Do it carefully not to get dirty. All right, now we need to attach it to this part. Oh, I'm so glad that we're making this Arabian-style craft today. By the way, we already made quite a few dwellings for Elsa. You can find those videos on our channel. And the best and my favorite part is... The interior decor! When will we start the furniture? Just a second, we're almost there, Sammy. And done! Now our Jasmine will be able to enjoy a nice view from this balcony slash second floor. Oh, shoot, what do you have there? Oh, looks like a snake. <laughs> it's not a snake. This is going to be a ladder, you see? Here comes the first step. Now that the main construction is done, we can turn to the decor. I'll start with this fake tattoo. Wow, Sushi, I didn't know you were planning to have a tattoo. <laughs> this is not for me, Sammy. It's for the carpet. <laughs> it's rather small, so I'll use a Q-tip here. We'll carefully transfer this pattern to the piece of foam using some water like this. Oh, that's so cool, Sue! I love temporary tattoos! Oh, yeah, Sammy. Guys, check out what we've got. Looks good, huh? Let's place it right here. It fits perfectly. Hey, Sue, check out what I made! <gasps> wow, that's great, Sammy! <laughs> Um, is this a table? Yep, I defo saw one like that in the Aladdin movie. Okay, that's the perfect spot for it. Speaking of the movie, did you know that it became the ninth grossing movie of 2019? Oh, I 
can't even imagine how many people went to see it in the cinemas. <laughs> Apparently a lot. Before the official release, this movie was called one of the most anticipated films of the year. Can you believe that, Sammy? I was totally anticipating it. I wanted to see how they were going to show Raja. Oh, he turned out so cute. As well as this couch. So check this out. I'm sure you'll like it. Let's see. Wow, awesome! That's a tiny cushion with tassels! And that is… Wow, another carpet made in the same technique I used. It fits here perfectly. That was brilliant, Sammy! Let's move on to the next step. Oh, it looks like we're out of large pieces of foam. Let me bring some more. It'll just take a second. Okay, the foam is here. I guess this should be enough to finish our craft. Hey, Susie! Check out the bed I made! Okay. Hmm, I think it's missing a mattress. Alright. Uh... <laughs> well, it doesn't anymore. <laughs> how in the world do you do this? You take these sticks, they can also be used. What do you mean, how I do this? You always take something cool and make it even cooler with one simple touch. Oh, thank you. You're a master of crafts, too. Guys, check out these bed pieces Sammy made. Thanks, you. Your appreciation is the best prize. Even if I was waiting for you to admit that. <laughs> Oh, you slick little slime. <laughs> Phew, I need two more bed legs, but I can't find them. Here they are. Oopsie. We only need to glue the legs now. There. Ah, and our bed is almost ready. If you're thinking I'm doing nothing, you're wrong. Huh, that sounded a bit like a threat. Right, guys? Come on, Sammy, at least give us a hint at what you're making there. You'll see that in a couple of seconds! Okay. Guys, we carefully glued this bed head to its place. See? It's wonderful! Hmm, something's missing, though. Shall we throw a couple of these cute pillows Sammy made from foam? Uh, <laughs> and ha! Huh. It's coming out nice! Voila! Our bed is ready! Let's place it here. Sue, are you ready to see what I was working on for so long? Sure, Sammy, I bet it's something really cool for our room. Ahem, the royal mirror out of foam is here! Now you're rhyming? <laughs> it looks perfect! Uh-huh, and it's a gift from another princess, Snow White! Oh, right! How did that go again? Oh, mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Me, of course, I'm the fairest one of all! <laughs> I made this cute chair for our console mirror. And a cushion in Arabian style. I think they go perfectly together. Um, Sue, aren't you forgetting something? <gasps> right! What would I do without ya? Let's add some coziness. <coughs> Check out our beautiful curtains! <coughs> Sue, the plants! You're right! Plants can make any room cozier and fresher. Let's put this one right here. And one more here. This is the best spot for this one. Oh, don't forget Jasmine's pet tiger! Abu will live on the second floor. Let's fill the console mirror with cosmetics. Voila! Princess Jasmine's room is ready! Raja seems to like the interior! Shall we take a closer look at it, guys? Now all is perfect! Guys, I hope Princess Jasmine will like this room! Oh, she's here! She's here! <gasps> Easy, Sammy. Breathe. Oh, you're right. It's just another Disney princess, Sammy. You can do it! <sighs> here she is! 
Jasmine meets Sammy and the guys. Well, Jasmine, uh, how do you like it here? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, okay, I got it. Uh, uh, Jasmine says this room looks marvelous. Moreover, <laughs> she asked me to take some pictures. Yay! <laughs> Guys, did you like our craft today? Then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye! Hi guys, I hope you're in the mood for some building today. As you probably know from our previous videos about crafts from Mini Bricks, we'll start with making a cement mixture. Hi there! Sue, you already started without me! No, no, mister, it was you who started all that. Now get ready to work hard! <laughs> there we go… Here's one quick tip from Sam the Builder. Apply some super glue on the plastic surface so that your construction is sturdy. That was helpful, Sammy. One more brick, like this, all the way through our plastic base. Don't forget that it's gonna be a fountain, Susie. That means we need no leaks. Don't worry, Sammy. Everything is thought through. This goes here. And here is one more little brick. I really find this relaxing. You just put mini bricks one by one, and in the end, you get something awesome. I know what relaxes me. Hey! Sue, how long do you think it will take us to finish with that fountain? I don't know, maybe a week or so? What? I promise Jasmine she'll have it by tonight! Move over, Miss Susan, we have to speed up. This way. Uh-huh, all right. Wow, now you're talking, Sammy. And these openings will help provide the water supply. It's very important. As well as to prevent our fountain from any leakage. A nice portion of super hard hot glue will help us with this. Be careful and don't glue yourself! Mm. Guys, I'm gonna go help Sue. We'll be back in a second! Okay, our fountain is perfectly dry and we can switch to the creative part. Wow, Susie, these glass tiles look so yummy! <laughs> I guess someone is hungry. We're going to make a beautiful mosaic pattern with these. Be careful with the tweezers, guys, and follow your imagination. One more tile. Boop! Very good. on the bottom of our fountain. And we are, Sammy, but we're gonna use these smaller tiles. Now we'll fill up the rest of the space and get a nice fountain bottom. Hey, this looks like pizza. I guess I am hungry after all. I'm gonna go call for delivery. In the meantime, guys, we'll be dealing with this wall. And we can finally deal with the grout. We need to take a small amount of it whoop, and evenly distribute it over the surface, just like this. Try to be careful, guys, and don't leave empty spaces. Pizza's here! Uh, ah, shiver me, chatters. Holy cannoli! How long was I away, Sue? You've managed to finish the fountain! It turned out amazing, by the way. Thanks, Sammy. But honestly, we are so far from finishing this craft. I could really use your help. You're right, I'm sorry. Guys, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so that Susie can forgive me. Now we need to cover the outer side of our fountain with the texture paste. Shouldn't we deal with the ledge first? Just give me a sec. One more, and ta-da! You did great, Sammy. Guys, the next step will resemble a cake frosting process so much. You should try to spread the texture paste evenly, this way. And you might need to apply several layers of it. Oh yeah! We should get a nice and neat white fountain wall! Approximately like this. And we're moving to our next step, which is... Decoration! 
Susan, beware and behold, Susan. Sam the Pentar is here. Well, what do you think, Susie? Wow, I love this pattern so much. You truly are a great painter, Sammy. Should we brighten it up then? You bet. Guys, just check out all this beauty! Finally, the polish, which will protect the paint from moisture. And give an additional gloss to our fountain! Stay tuned, guys! We'll be right back! Now it's time to create an artificial water cycle. We will need this elegant piece with tubes and a wire, a motor, a switcher, and batteries. That reminds me! Guys, we've already made a few cool mini fountains! Check out our channel for those if you want! That's right, but this time, the process of water supply is going to be slightly different. Ooh, I really want to see it! Now we need to add a little motor to our electric circuit. This way. And a battery, of course, so that everything works automatically. Guys, ask an adult to help you at this stage! Yes, you should work really carefully with wires. Mm. And as a result, you will get this. We need to hide it so that everything looks neat. Go ahead. Interesting. Right. Uh-huh. I'm done. And here's the water. Come on, let's see the fountain in action. Thanks, but it's not time yet. What? But it is ready. Don't you want to run it? It's almost ready, my friend. <laughs> Susie, why do we need popcorn buckets? Our fountain already looks like the one I drew. Don't get me wrong, Sammy, but I thought that Princess Jasmine's fountain should have a more, uh, complicated structure. And these buckets will help us to shape nice, big flower beds. Okay, that doesn't sound bad at all. But are they gonna be from cardboard? Well, yeah, mostly. Just let me finish with this part. And you'll see everything for yourself. Oh, I won't just sit around while a Disney princess waits for her fountain. I wanna help! Tell me what to do! All right. We'll decorate them, but first, let's use some craft magic. Voila! We covered our flower beds with the texture paste, and now we'll work on their relief. A sponge will come in handy, like this. Oop, oop, oop. Let's add some gold for even more beauty. Oh, this sounds awesome! I approve! And after all our efforts, we'll get this. Doesn't it look awesome, guys? Give us a thumbs up if you agree. Wow, Susie! This way the fountain does look better than in my initial sketch! <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Will you join me in the gardening process? Actually, I need to do one more thing. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Huh, but you guys will stay with me, right? Let's get it done. I've got a surprise! Could you look away? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You can look! Wow! Shiver me cheddar, Sammy! That's more than awesome! Would you look at this, guys? Ah! They will, Susie! They totally will! Masterpiece. Thanks for that high appreciation, but let's see if Princess Jasmine will like it. 